Every six months or so, somebody comes along and literally breaks Rocket League with a new mechanic. Right now, that mechanic is the flip reset, or more specifically, the ball reset. And the guy who really caused all the problems is this keyboard and mouse freak named Pulse of Ample. Now, before I get into how you actually do this, because I do have a complete and full understanding of it and have basically perfected the flip reset. Yeah, before we get into all that, let's go over what a flip reset is and all the different variations. For some players, a flip reset may not make sense at first, but I promise it will by the end of this video. In Rocket League, you are allowed to flip or dodge your car after you jump, but only within a certain time period after you jump. I believe it's 1.5 seconds. However, if your car falls off of a surface without you jumping, that 1.5 second rule doesn't apply. So if you fall off the ceiling or another car bumps you, basically if all four wheels touch and then leave a surface, then this rule applies. So of course the obvious thing to do with this knowledge is to attempt to get all four wheels to leave the surface of the ball. And that's when players started to hit flip reset shots that are still somewhat incomprehensible. But until recently, players have really only dreamed of getting more than one flip reset off the ball. So that's where we'll start. The first type of flip reset is just a classic flip reset shot. And this is basically like your classic ceiling shot or air dribble, definitely really difficult, but not impossible to master for most players. And this is really the first step to becoming a flip reset god. If you can't master this, then you definitely can't master any other type of flip reset shot. The first thing that you need to understand is that most of the time it's best to go for a flip reset shot with your car upside down. If your car is upright, it will be hard to get that second shot on the ball because your momentum will have taken your car too far above the ball. But if you're upside down, you sort of fall below the ball with that initial contact, which enables you to then get a powerful high second shot on the ball. And this is really just gonna take a ton of practice, like hours and hours of practice in total. But after a few days, it'll start to click and then you'll get more consistent at it. The only real tip I can give you for this is to imagine you're just gonna hit the ball really solidly. And this can be kind of deceptive when you watch someone do it because it looks like they don't hit the ball very hard, but that's because all four wheels are touching the ball and that's sort of killing the car's momentum and killing the ball's momentum. This is sort of like the rule that people used to say which is when you're trying to hit a high aerial shot you don't want to hit it with the bottom of your car because it kills all your momentum so what you want to do is really try to hit the ball hard and right before you get to the ball flip your car back even further and then hit the ball with the underside of your car now this is gonna kill all your momentum so you want to hit the ball with a good amount of speed plus you won't be able to get a flip reset if you don't hit the ball somewhat hard now what you do after that is kind of up to you you can sort of delay the dodge or you can even hit the ball right away even a split second after after you get the flip reset and sort of flick the ball into the goal. This is actually the second type of flip reset goal that I really haven't been able to master yet, but basically you just dodge right away like a split second after you hit the ball and you end up flicking the ball into the goal. And it's like pretty much not even defendable. Now the last type of flip reset is one where you get multiple flip resets off the ball and this is really the move that caused people to start recognizing Pulse of Ample. Now just watch this and see if you can figure out how he's doing this. Really better, any having keyboard there. Uh, mechanics are just much harder on the on the controller or the keyboard, right? I don't think so. There, everything is doable. Yeah. It's a very late oh. flip reset by Evample. He hold, he held onto that one for so long. Look at this. He's just calculating. He's like, okay, if I dodge, I'm hitting the ball, but I'll wait a little bit more. Oh, like, sick goals contest. He might do the own goal. How do you, oh yeah. So maybe if he accidentally, uh, oops, that's my mobile. Maybe if he accidentally puts it in his own net for some reason, you know. Then that's um, how he's going to win the own uh, goal contest. <laughs> yeah. Just by doing this in his own net. Just yeah. straight towards the orange goal. One flip reset, two flip resets. And the backflip shot for good measure. Just making it look easy. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, Jesus my goodness. Christ. So this is... Obviously, Evample is trying to do the quad reset today. And he was also trying to do this shot, as you might recognize the setup. This is an instant flick afterwards as well. It's just so it's fast. Mad. So yeah, just take a look at this. Show Zen clips. Does Zen have good clips of these as well? So basically, Avample is getting that first flip reset, and then as the ball is coming down, he's stalling his car. And this is something freestylers do quite a bit. Stalls have been around for quite a while, but they're really difficult. Like, I'd say they're one of the most difficult mechanics in the game, especially for players who use controllers. On keyboard and mouse, you basically just hit air roll to one side, either right or left, and then turn your car the opposite direction, whichever key that is, and this is how you do a tornado spin. And then as your tornado spinning, you just jump, but when you do it on keyboard and mouse, 
mouse, you just hit them all at the same time, basically. And so then a vamp will also air rolls the opposite way that his car wants to go when he does that stall. And he does it so quickly that it looks like he's not spinning at all. And he's just so fast at it, it's become such a part of his muscle memory for him at this point. It really looks like his car is just floating upwards. Now, I want to give a big shout out to a small YouTuber named Traub RL. I think that's how you say it. I'm probably saying it wrong. She actually goes into a lot more detail than I'm going to here. Like how, for example, your dead zone can affect this. And really the heart of why keyboard and mouse is so much better for this specific move. I've put a link in the description below to that video, so check that out if you're interested in this more. It's honestly super helpful and really interesting. Basically the thing that would make this so much easier would be if we could bind turn right or turn left to a specific key, so that you could still turn with your analog stick, but you could also hit a button to turn. Just like you can with air roll right or air roll left. Because when you use the analog stick, you just create so much more room for error, because it can't just be pressed the way that a key can on a keyboard. Regardless, if you can get consistent at stalling under the ball like this, you'll be right on your way to getting double and triple flip reset goals just like Pulse of Ample. Okay, probably not. But if you do, I'd love to see how you do it, because I need a lot of help in this. 